sticker we're going to talk about today is the Mike McGill Skull and Snake. Uh, BCJ 1984, the original design of the deck. Mike McGill wanted a skull, and so he asked for a skull, and BCJ made one with devil horns. He didn't like that, so he said, I like snakes. And so then they put a snake in it. And uh, this is your favorite sticker. This is the best sticker ever made. Hi, I'm Steve Howie. Um, I'm the first guest <laughs> on the sticker show. I think I overdressed a little bit. <laughs> but uh, we're here. It is the, the Mike McGill. <laughs> I brought mine. When did you? When? Okay. All it's right. It's the best sticker ever made. You didn't have a skateboard that I remember. I had a Mike McGill. Really? Oh, yeah. When? Yeah, I had a Per Willander. Remember Per Willander? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Per Willander. I had a Per Willander because I was obsessed with the Mike McGill, and I went and got a Per Willander because of the graphics. What grade? The symmetry. Well, no, in, when, 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 wait, wait. This was uh, I'm talking about fifth when you or sixth were... grade. Oh, so I didn't know you. That's yeah. why. Yeah. Because we met when? Junior high? Seventh grade. Seventh Where grade. did you get it? Um, I don't know. Uh, we were living in um, Scottsdale, Arizona. Oh, time. shit. So I was obsessed with... Because of the symmetry, lightning bolt, skull, snake, it's perfect. There's yeah. actually, I had, um, when we used to be in a dance crew. Yeah. That's too bad. Hey, we did it. I had a dance. That's what it was right there. What? And I was I was doing, the, it, the symmetry of the sticker <laughs> is perfect. I'm so glad that you're doing this, this sticker, the Mike McGill Skull and Snake, because it is the best graphic ever made. It's probably the best. There's nothing better. It's the, I looked up a lot of Skull and Snake things. It's the best Skull and Snake. Oh. For sure. I mean, this, how many people do you think have this tattoo? A lot. A lot have looked it up. This is a perfect a tattoo. Lot. If you it's want to lot. get a tattoo, get it. Black and gray, color, whatever you want. I what I find interesting about it is like the the crown, the lightning bolt crown, is super religious looking. It's a halo. Yeah. It's a halo with the snake. So what are we looking at? Head of Christ yeah. with the devil in his mouth. Yeah. That's dirty. Yeah. And you also have the the tail of the snake coming out the skull of the forehead, which is a little Maybe, I don't know, maybe it's a little bit of a stretch. The third eye uh, could, it maybe. could be coming there from there. Maybe. it's. Kind of, I mean, VCJ was super rad at snakes. I feel like he was obviously looking at Escher. Whoa. At the same time, like, you know what yes. I mean? Who's I this? That's MC Escher. You know, the, this guy. Oh, yeah. yeah. The, 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 the staircase. Yeah, the staircase. Yeah. Like, it's like not... It's right there. It'll come up on the screen. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, like you can tell, yeah. he's obviously like kind of looking at that. Because I've never seen any of his art before he did. He worked for Pal Peralta. Yeah. So you had a Mike McGill I had a Mike in fifth McGill. grade, and you skated it? I mean, if you can call it that. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, you know, we were... <laughs> <laughs> I don't think curb crack always is called skating, what? but why did you turn into like an old fisherman? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I had a, I had a, I had a Mike McGill. I I skated it around the town. Were you into being a skate? Because by the time I met you, you weren't really into being a skater anymore. No, it's terrible. No, but like so was I. But the, I just still wanted to make it kind of part of my identity. Yeah. Well, I got that skateboard, and then I remember Per Wellander came out, and he was a freestyle skater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He was the short. <clears throat> yeah, the little little flipsy whipsies. Yeah, but he had a street deck. Yeah, they put out a street deck in like '89 because of how popular street skating was. Yeah. The freestyle kind of died. But yeah, Victor Cortland Johnson is kind Victor of like, Cortland he Johnson. establishes the pow look and that iconographic skull, right? Dead, everything was very symmetrical. Like his designs were usually really symmetrical. Everything was like dead center in the middle. Mm -hmm. It was like right in the middle of the deck. It was it was like some kind of head a lot of the time, but it, it was perfect. Everything's perfect. It's not like messy or kind of janky. Every, every design was just like this perfectly resolved like this look like a crazy woodblock print or something what like do you that. think the difference is from that that uh, design to now I, to be honest i don't 
the 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 thing about this design is it still works now. Skulls are overdone. Every they're they're one of the most overdone things ever. But if you still do one really right, it's still really good. Yeah, it's just overused. Like just the skull isn't very interesting. You have to like either over skull it or under skull it. Sure. If you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I always liked the. Uh... Sailor Jerry tattoo skull. Yeah. Which is, it's off. Yeah. It's not symmetrical. It, it, I don't think it's a thing that'll go away ever completely because essentially it's just death. Yeah. Well, and it's you, us. It's death. Humans are fascinated by themselves and this is like the part of your body you can't see. So you're fascinated by what is going... You don't feel your skull really or you don't feel the look of it. So like, you're, like I, I don't know, do you ever just like poke your fingers into your skull? Like that's this part. Like yeah. that's that's why I think it's so interesting to us. You look at a skull and you're like, one day all my stuff will just fall off. Yeah, or a meat be, bag. Yeah, it'll just be skull. We're a meat bag with this crazy brain. Yeah, we're obsessed with ourselves. So like, I think that's why we get so turned on for skulls and stuff. Well, it's also it taps into some kind of symbolism that humans are drawn to. We love symbols i mean that's how yeah. we used to communicate before we had language sure we had symbols yeah and that's what stories were driven on there were they were they were there were symbols yeah this is a symbol of and it could be heaven and hell i wonder i wonder what he was thinking he it's was, a halo yeah it's a halo I mean, you have also snakes are all about like fertility they're kind of sexual it's a whole but thing the snake is the representation of the uh the devil offering yeah. what the apple, Did the apple, no, apple to Eve. Well, what if you're no nope. Richard for short? <laughs> Could you call you know that one part of the Bible? Richard five six. Shoot, do you like? I see. I like the Parallelander better than the Mike McGill. No, no. <laughs> wow. The Mike McGill is is the best design graphic. What I love is ever made. this sticker is identical. They're identical. Like this one came out in 2005. This the one is 1984, but they're identical. You got a 1984 sticker? Yeah. These are all old. That's 84. These are all Oh, old. you actually have the This is the original one. You have the date on it. Yeah, it says it. That was the reissue they did in 05. Wow. Yeah. So, so that's this, why it's available. This these show are all is old. legit. <laughs> Let me ask you something. Go ahead. In the art world, <clears throat> how is symmetry viewed? Is it viewed as simple? Is it viewed as like cliche? Is it viewed as hard? What, where is it? The most, the, where you see it the most is probably geometric abstraction. So like box and mm -hmm. a box and a box. So, you know, that kind of really hard line, perfect abstract painting. Yeah. But symmetry in, fi in figurative stuff is really rare because to get both, to get everything perfectly symmetrical is hard. And I think it kind of makes it look I don't know. Manufactured? Like, manufactured, too, kind of too iconographic. Like, it's almost like too serious. Like, you're saying, like, this is a perfect thing. Yeah. It's kind of tough because then you're up against, like, that Da Vinci guy, you know, well, yeah, being yeah, in the yeah. circle. Yeah, yeah. Well, this isn't, it, it, I mean, the skull and snake isn't perfectly symmetrical. Yeah. Are the, the, the lightning bolts uh, yeah. perfectly aligned? I don't think they are. They're, um, I don't think they are. They One, aren't. two, three. They aren't. That one's slightly higher. Yeah, it's slightly off. And then if you the the tail that wraps around the t the sides. Yeah, it's not. That's obviously not. That's weird for him because usually everything's like. But that's what's perfect about it is that it's so it's not sim perfectly symmetrical, but it is to the eye. Yeah. It's so pleasing and and ominous and and it is a. It is a representation of my life. <laughs> it's not. You just like it a lot. I just representation. I, love it. I think life. I might get the tattoo. You've I think talked this about one, it a lot. I've been talking about it for decades. If you get it, you can definitely be on the show again. Are we gonna do like a sub show where you guys go? We recap what happened. No, you go with me to the tattoo oh, shop. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 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 You do it. You'd have where to get would it. I get it. That's the problem. It has to be big. It can't be the arm. No. Most just... people get it on their back. But in the middle, and it's big. There's another question. What about the other colors? What about the other colors? How many colors are there? A lot. Well, the snake is almost always green. But what about the lightning bolt? The Halo. lightning bolt changed. Well, the original lightning bolt was yellow. Woo! Getting some info on this show. The 1984 version.
version was yellow. And uh, as far as I know, and they may have, uh, there, to be fair, there may have been different colored versions back then too as it came out. But now when they reissue it, there's lots of different colors. My favorite, they did a reissue that's pink. The background's pink because they did a, a, a street shape kind of in like 89 or 90. And they put, they used this scale pattern in the background. There's like a scale pattern in the background. The printing in it, it's so good. And yeah. it's pink with the white skull against it. There's been a version where they, they make the snake blue. It's yeah, like cool. always kind of good. I'm telling you, there's something that goes back to my, you know, uh, lineage that that uh, that I am drawn to it in a way that I have. I don't know why. It's I not mean, just like, yeah, I like skulls and I like snakes and I like lightning bolts. There's also been old skull snake tattoo stuff and like you see that a lot in motorcycle. It's old. Like it's been around a long, long time. Okay, lightning. Yeah, lightning. Zeus. The whole thing. Right? Yeah. Skulls, us, I mean, snake, the devil, heaven, hell. It's all there. Anytime I draw a skull, I definitely think about this skull. Does this VCJ? J? Yeah. Does he have other designs that have some kind of symbolism that can be traced back to, you know? Um, Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he draws upon old stuff here and there. He's obviously like a, a smart dude that like... You know, knows art history and just history in general. And do you think symbolism. that symbolism is taps into some subconscious thing that we? Uh... I think it tries to. I don't think it necessarily is successful, but I think that's what people are like trying to. They're like trying to make you like what they made without knowing why. They succeeded. Yeah, they... yeah. You don't like this is. It's like specific and vague, which I think is smart. That is why that is my one of my and Steve's favorite stickers.